Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today, I'm standing here in the heart of Hyde Park, just behind me, the Heathrow Building, and we are gonna be showing you a 2,499,000 rand, two bedroom, two bathroom apartment located in this building. But first, let's show you all the amenities this building has to offer. My name is Chad Viveros, this is the Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. So often apartment blocks are huge metal and concrete structures that care very little in the way of nature. But not so here in Heathrow, as you can see I'm surrounded by greenery and this is very, very rare when it comes to Hyde Park and even more rare when it comes to living spaces within the Greater Johannesburg. Here you can see this huge blue pool right in front of me and all of this garden right around me for you to use if you purchase within this area. Now another thing I'd like to mention is this, this garden spans the length of the apartment block with so much area for you to sit down, relax and enjoy nature. But I think we've spent enough time downstairs looking at the amenities. Let's head off upstairs and show you just how exquisite an apartment in Hyde Park can look. Follow me, let's go. And here we are coming from that passageway into this fully renovated New York style apartment. This apartment is located on the second floor and it has been done masterfully. Throughout this whole apartment you'll see how much care and attention to detail the owners have taken when renovating that apartment and it is not so apparent as it is right here in this kitchen. As you can see I'm standing here within this breakfast nook or we'd say the center floating table. Just underneath we've got plenty of under counter storage and space has been utilized so well with pull out drawers on both sides as well as drawers on rails right here in the middle. Obviously above what all of you have noticed are these incredible hanging lights, glass framed, letting in so much light from the sliding doors and yet still making this apartment feel like that New York style. Then again on the right hand side we've got these white tiles textured giving it this little extra oomph when it comes to design. But let's talk appliances. A kitchen is all about the amenities. So just behind me we've got not one but two sinks and apartments of this size so often fail when it comes to washing up space but not here. One, two and then just to the left we've got one of those hidden dustbins so when you are prepping or doing your meal cooking you can just throw all the cutaways in there and as we've mentioned convenience is key so this pull out drawer is where you'll locate all of your offcuts coming through that hidden dustbin. So we've spoken about the two sinks, the faucet is Hunsgro, really high class, really good quality but it's not just that we've also got filtered water just to the left Again, this home is all about ease of use. Right over here, Smeg gas burner, Smeg stove just below it, as well as an extractor right there. And again, the design elements continue on this wall where you'll find the same textured tiles bringing that featured wall to this over here. Right over here, microwave and some under counter storage where you'll find your coffee nook. My favorite feature of any home is where you're gonna get the coffee. But if it's looking messy and you want some clean lines, again, they've got you covered. You'll pull this down and it seals all off completely, drawing the attention back to the beautiful wood and then textured drawers. Right over here, another really, really cool feature. So let's talk about two things. One, the flooring is that poured concrete and then sealed with this white, bringing in a lot of light in this room. No dark floors. And then that leads it right over here. Wine cooler. So if you are entertaining guests, you've got your wine cooler with the wooden drawers looking oh so fancy. And we like fancy. On the right hand side, a fridge. So you've got all of your mixers there. Some cupboard space for you to hide your glasses. And then moving right over here, you've got your dining room area. Now, as I mentioned downstairs, this is a two bedroom, two bathroom home. And homes like this are so often cramped, but not in this case. The use of space throughout this home is impeccable. and yeah, you can see it in action. A six-seater dining room table that fits oh so easily. One chair is off to the side but can easily be scooted in and you can serve as many guests as you like. 
Now another really cool feature of this apartment in Hyde Park is this outdoor balcony. One of the owners have renovated this space as well and you can see the aluminum sliding and stackable glass doors just off to the side making this completely indoor outdoor. We understand exactly how much people enjoy dining with easy access to some air from outside and that's been thought out throughout the design here. Just above me, we've got some slotted windows and on the left hand side, a really cool feature on this face brick wall is floor to ceiling glass, letting in so much light into the living room area. And talking about the living room area, let's head right into it. Now this is apartment living at its finest and this is where you can see those New York design elements coming to play. Behind me, this glass wall dividing the living area from the office area slash second bedroom, but we're gonna get to that in a moment. Guys, take a look at the size of this area. We've got an L-shaped couch that doesn't even make it feel cramped. TV unit as well as TV there. Plenty of down lighting as well as this bulkhead ceiling that hides the top of the curtains. We've only seen that once before in the show and I love how it's done because it makes the room feel so classy. Now, we also spoke about this floor to ceiling window here. We've got another floor to ceiling window just in front of me with two hinged windows that open outwards, letting into that cool breeze, but also letting you take in all the greenery that Hyde Park has to offer. Now we've spoken about the ceiling, we've spoken about the walls, let's talk about the floor. We went from that beautiful light flooring into this dark wood as you come into the lounge, giving it so much character and really making it feel very cozy. Now that wood then goes all the way off into the office slash bedroom area. Let's check that out because it has been designed so smartly. Here we are sitting within the office area. Just in front of me we've got some frosted glass windows with the windows above it with a little bit less frosting letting in a lot of light not making this room feel dark or dingy at all we've got so much space and light in here and then if you're sitting at this desk you can look through this glass wall enjoying the outdoors as well as your lounge area and if you've got something playing on the tv you can do some work and watch tv which we like but we're talking about entertaining guests we've got such big living room and such a big dining room area you know you're gonna be entertaining guests maybe they want to sleep over what happens then if this is set up as an office well you've got cupboard space all you need really is a bed and right up here is where you'll find it you'll pull out this tab as well as this tab pull down grab at the top and this bed comes straight down here are your legs that easy as you do you let go here push and it's locked away. This can easily be done by one person. Then you've got a bed, a place for your guests to sleep. I love the space utilization. As I said at the beginning, so much thought has been put into renovating this apartment and I love how it's been renovated. It really does feel like it's worth way more than what you'll be paying specifically when you take into account where this home is located. Now, a couple of things I wanted to mention before we run into the master suite is the other lighting elements in the home. We've got these down lighting, hanging lights in the kitchen. Then we've got these beautiful spots that have got black frames and then down lighting throughout the rest of the home. Super unobtrusive, yet all of it comes in as decorations. Now, these are easily my two favorite parts of the home. But before we go into that, guys, I'm sure you've noticed the different furniture throughout the house and how it suits this home and the way the home was designed. So if you would like for another 100,000 rand, all of the furniture as well as the appliance comes with the home. The only exception is the art. So if you're making an inquiry and you do want the furniture, be sure to mention this to the agent right at the end of the show. But let's start. Cameraman, are we gonna do the master suite or are we gonna go into the bathroom first? Is it the bathroom? Let's go. So coming on to the first bathroom, and this would be what we'd call the guest bathroom. What you'll notice is this is where you've got your stackable appliances, both your tumble dryer as well, it's washing machine. Then just on the other side of the separating wall, which is clad in that stunning rainforest style plant wallpaper, you've got your single vanity hanging above the single vanity, circular mirror, some under counter storage area. Off to the right of the vanity, you've got your floating toilet with hidden cistern, and then something you never see in apartments of this size, a jacuzzi bathtub tucked away in the corner, really giving you all of the luxuries of living in a big home, yeah, to be enjoyed in an apartment in Hyde Park. And now with the guest bathroom complete, we're going to all of our favorite areas, the creme de la creme, the master suite, and what a master suite this is. This was designed with so many European flavors and you can see that immediately with behind me, a completely blacked out bathroom. We see this all over social media and it's done right here. We've got that stunning illuminated mirror, single vanity again with a black outer frame, under counter storage, 
stunning marble countertops and then you walk in to this shower right here glass on three sides and then this really really interesting tiling that we very rarely see and then if we look right here we've got this really interesting hexagonal tile pattern running all through here some of it being matte some of it being gloss definitely unique something we've never seen before and right over here you've got your toilet hidden in the corner floating toilet no vanity which means your two flush buttons are mounted on the wall very cool very high class and i love how this bathroom is done and what i really enjoy is how it leads straight into the bedroom this bedroom is serviced by an aircon we've got what you could say is a display area for your wardrobe down lighting and all of the shelves. The shelves are leveled at different heights, really making this into an art piece. You can see that just below here, where one is a drawer, just underneath is a shelf, another drawer, another shelf, whereas here, it's just your drawers. And another statement piece is this tinted mirror that runs the length of the room. So if you're getting ready, you can put this mirror wherever you like, make sure it's servicing you. Specifically, if you're sitting here, just behind the separating wall, getting changed, you can have the mirror right there and make sure you're leaving here looking as spiffy as this house is. But we've spoken about the wardrobe area, we've spoken about the bathroom. Let's talk about the bedroom. Now the only thing that's left is the master bedroom and that bed. So on the other side of the separating wall, we've got a king bed that fits in here very, very easily. You've got a built-in side unit on the right hand side of the bed and then the rest of the bed is just surrounded by that beautiful dark wood flooring we've got a window that wraps around the room these hinged windows that open outwards it is really really nice place to be you feel incredibly comfortable and a purchase that i don't think you can ever go wrong with this is a 2,499,000 rand home located in the heart of Hyde Park, an area that's known for only increasing in value. But ladies and gentlemen, that is a tour of the home. So join me as we head back downstairs and talk about how you can be the next owner. So if you're interested in buying this exquisitely renovated apartment, what I'd like you to do is contact Ridwan Kasim from Realtor. All of his details are on screen right now as well as in the description of this video and schedule a viewing at a time and place of your convenience. He'll happily take you through the apartment. I'm sure you can only fall more in love with it. But from myself, Chad Riveros, the team at Private Property and everyone at the Home Shopper Show, thank you so much for tuning in once again. It airs every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. We'll see you again. Lots of love. Goodbye.